as the United Democratic Alliance Party, we have come to the end of a long journey in the process of selection of the running mate. I proudly associate myself with the rigorous and protracted process, and more so consultative process, in which Honorable Gashagwa and I emerged as finalists. And this was among a list of a total of six equally qualified colleagues that a senator from a small county in the edges of Kenya can enter the shortlist and indeed become a finalist in the nominations for such a high position in our country speaks volumes to how far our country has come in handling the prejudices of yesteryears. It also speaks volumes about our party's commitment to upholding the Kenyan dream uh, that espouses equality and equal opportunity for all its citizens. There is therefore no better evidence to prove that our country has moved on from the prejudices of your and there is no better evidence that our party stands for equal opportunity than the reality that until yesterday a senator from a most unlikely place was on serious consideration for a serious national political office. Let there be no reason going forward why any Kenyan should entertain any doubt whatsoever that the UDA and Kenya Kwanzaa stands for equal opportunity for all its members and indeed the citizens of our country. Also, let there be no reason whatsoever going forward that any citizen from wherever they come in this country should feel that they do not stand a fair chance in taking a shot at any position of leadership in our dear country. These are difficult times for our country. Our country is choking in debt. Prices of essential commodities have gone beyond the means of many of our citizens. Millions of our people are living in crippling poverty and corruption continues to thrive in public offices even as our people continue to suffer. I pledge to the millions of Kenyans who support the vision of a better Kenya presented by UDA and Kenya Kwanzaa that at this moment, when our country is at the cups of change, that I will do my best to join our leader, His Excellency William Ruto, his deputy designate, the Honorable Rigadi Gashagwa, and the rest of the team to ensure that we get victory in the elections scheduled for 9th August 2022. I urge all of us in the party, in the rank and file of the party, to support that who supported my candidature, to support our team in order to deliver a decisive victory. My candidature was not about me as a person. It was about the team. We must therefore subordinate ourselves to the greater cause of the team. In my 12 years of public service before I joined politics and subsequently my 10 years in politics, a total of 22 years, I have been inspired by the philosophy that I would rather not score. I would rather not score for a team that is going to win 
rather than to score for a team that is going to lose. For that reason, this philosophy has guided me to remain ruthlessly focused, resilient and committed to the cause of overturning the ills that bedevil of our country and making sure that Kenya Kwanzaa, through the leadership of William Ruto, is able to usher in an administration that reforms our economy to include as many Kenyans as possible on the economic table. Ladies and gentlemen, fellow Kenyans, I am also inspired throughout my public life, before I joined politics, and even in politics, by the principle never to run away from history. Instead, I have always believed in making history. Accordingly, after prayerful soul-searching and prayerful soul-searching and reflection, I have decided to remain a loyal and faithful member of our party, the UDA, and the Kenya Kwanzaa Alliance. I will continue to play my role in the campaign and subordinate myself to the leadership of our party, including my former competitor, who is now the deputy president designate for our coalition and for our country, God willing, after the election. Ladies and gentlemen, for the remainder of the campaign period, I'll be available to offer my services even more robustly in the field and also in the boardroom, everywhere, to make sure that no vote that we can mobilize in our favor remains out there. I thank the people of Tarakanidhi County who have given me the highest honor of my life of representing them for 10 years in the Senate of the Republic of Kenya. During that period, I have had the privilege of serving our country in additional roles, first as the Senate Majority Leader for a period of five years, and then later on as the Deputy Speaker of the Senate for a period of three years. As you are aware, on 22nd May 2022, I was removed from the office of Senate Deputy Speaker as a result of petty and malicious politics, regrettably orchestrated by my former party leader, a leader I have always served loyally and I have worked so hard to protect and defend. That notwithstanding, I have continued to serve the people of Darakanidi and the people of Kenya as a Senate, as a Senator in the Senate of our country. However, that role is coming to an end on 9th of August 2022. Therefore, my political journey will be interrupted shortly on 9th of August 2022 because, as you are aware, after consultations with my party, I decided to disengage from county politics and concentrate on seeking national elective leadership positions. To the millions of, to the many of my friends and thousands of Kenyans of goodwill who supported me during my attempt to seek nomination to be the deputy presidential candidate of our party, I am eternally grateful to you. I wish we could have done better. I want to encourage you that we did our best in the circumstances. And if there has been any shortcomings in the process that our party put in place, in the 
identification of our animate, if we have made any mistakes, if there have been any shortcomings, those shortcomings are mine as the candidate and they are not to be visited on any of those who supported my candidature. Our party put in place a very robust and rigorous process of identifying a running mate. I am a proud Kenyan that that process, I think, is a process like no other. It included the use of opinion polls. It included the use of what I would call an electoral college of delegates from our party and other methods which I think will build up in democratizing, democratizing the uh, future uh, identification processes for this office, which uh, has had a very short history in our country. Therefore, I want to announce today that my attempt at ascending or being nominated to ascend to a national elective leadership having failed yesterday, I have taken the decision to take a break from elective politics starting 10th of August 2022. I will use the break to reorganize myself as I continue to fully support my party, UDA, and Kenya Kwanzaa administration to deliver to Kenyans upon assuming office. Lastly, I am grateful to my colleagues in the party, especially the members of parliament, both National Assembly and Senate, who have been uh, a critical uh, uh, segment in this process that I've just explained. They did play a huge role in that process, and I know a good number of them did support my candidature. And as I said at the beginning, it is unlikely, and it's actually unprecedented, that a senator from a most unlikely corner of this country could get that kind of support from peers who come from far and wide. My colleagues, I am truly grateful. And I know, God willing, we will have an opportunity for me to make it up to you one day. And that day shall not be too far away. Finally, I have also reflected on how I will utilize my break, which break has been occasioned by the interruption of my career, which I have announced, has to occur from 10th August 2022. And after prayerful reflection and consultation, I have decided that I will not be seeking for any appointive position whatsoever. However, I will remain available to my country in future should an opportunity arise to seek leadership positions that may be available at the national level in the future. That future, I don't know when it will be. But for the moment, I am proceeding on a break. I will continue to reorganize myself. I will support UD and Kenya Kwanzaa now and after the election. But I am not available to perform any functions of an appointive nature whatsoever so that that can allow me to live my dream. When I left the academia and when I left my profession some 10 years ago, I knew I would have had an illustrious career as a technocrat and as an, appoint or an appointed uh, official. That was a decision I had made and I had been pushed by the desire to serve my country and apply my talents from the platform of elective politics. So I want to confirm that is my next step for those who have been asking what I'm planning. And I'm sorry if I've disappointed anybody. I want to finish by saying I am very proud of myself. 
I am very proud of my supporters. I am very proud of my electorate. And I am very proud of how far Kenyans have traveled in terms of making it possible for any Kenyan to realize their dream and to contribute in the development of our country. I will not quit. I don't know the language of quitting. I'll stay put, I'll stay focused, I'll, pay, I'll, I'll stay loyal to my friends, I'll stay loyal to my party, and I'm not also quitting the political space. This is my country, this is my homeland, I am not going anywhere, and I believe this is the best country on earth, and therefore the opportunities that may come in future are opportunities we'll reflect on when that time comes. Thank you. God bless Kenya. Let us make history in August 2022 by replacing a government that does not res respect its citizens with a government that honors and respects the contribution of each and every Kenyan. Asanteni Mungu wa Bariki. pointed to you ranking high among those who were seeking that position. Your absence yesterday during the unveiling of the running mate of course raised a lot of speculation and right now you've said that you will not be accepting any appointed position from uh, Deputy President William Ruto's camp should they win the August 9 poll. Does that point to your dissatisfaction in the manner the process was conducted? Thank you Mr. Kirui. I am extremely satisfied with the process that our party followed in identifying the running mate. Secondly, what you have said is true. There was a variety of considerations in this process, including opinion polls in which I led. There were also other considerations, including voting through an, elect, an electoral college, which I also won. But those were not the only considerations. So there were other factors to be considered. And I think the sum total of all the considerations pointed at Regadi Gashagwa as the most suitable candidate for our party and for our coalition. I have said I don't know the language of quitting and I don't run away from history. I make history. I have also said I am taking my career has been interrupted by circumstances, not by design. I made a pitch for my party to endorse me to be the running mate of our presidential candidate. It did not succeed. That is not quitting. I am taking a break and during that interruption I will reorganize myself and come again. What is advantage to you? I don't feel shortchanged uh, because the decision for me to quit uh, county politics was a decision which was arrived at by consensus between myself and the party. So how can I shortchange myself? I was part of that decision. So it's just that what we hope to work has not worked, but uh, that is the order of politics. That is. Uh, I don't think anybody lives out of this game unscathed. Everybody, including those who have occupied the highest office in the land, have had scratches along their political career. You talked about what appeared to come forth against your disadvantage and in favor of Moshimariga uh, Nikashaka. Could you please elaborate on some of these factors that worked against you? Considering that you've said you ran in most of uh, those.
those issues that were being considered. I have not 